Gatun. Christ the Lord is risen today. Good morning to you all. And how are you this morning? I'm doing great. It's a beautiful day. We thank the Lord for today and it's lovely to see you all. And for all our friends and visitors, we are delighted that you are here. And we want to specially welcome our sisters and brothers, uh, African um, sisters and brothers from across parishes in Swansea who have come to sing with us today. If you were here at uh, just before Christmas, they were here for our Christmas carol, all right? And we're so delighted that you are here. Thank you uh, for coming to worship with us today and to uh, sing at this Mass. We're very, very grateful. This Mass is offered for the repose of the soul of Tony Lane. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Let us call to mind our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Oh, 
Everlasting mercy, who in the very recurrence of the Paschal feast kindle the faith of the people you have made your own. Increase, we pray, the grace you have bestowed that all may grasp and rightly understand. In one fault they have been washed, by whose spirit they have been reborn, by whose blood they have been redeemed. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns within the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever.
reading from the Acts of the Apostles. The whole group of believers was united, heart and soul. No one claimed for his own use anything that he had, as everything they owned was held in common. The apostles continued to testify to the resurrection of the Lord, the Lord Jesus with great power, and they were all given great respect. None of their members was ever in want, as all those who owned land or houses would sell them and bring the money from them to present it to the apostles. It was then distributed to any members who might be in need. The word of the Lord. Give thanks to the Lord for he is good, for his love has no end. Give thanks to the Lord for he is good, for his love has no end. Give thanks to the Lord for he is good, for his love has no end. Give thanks to the Lord for he is good, for his love. Anyone who has been forgotten by God 
has already overcome the world. This is the victory over the world, our faith. Who can overcome the world? Only the man who believes that Jesus is the Son of God, Jesus Christ, who came by water and blood, not with water only, but with water and blood, with the Spirit as another witness, since the Spirit is the truth. The word of the Lord. Holy Gospel according to John. In the evening of that same day, the first day of the week, the doors were closed in the room where the disciples were for fear of the Jews. Jesus came and stood among them. He said to them, Peace be with you and show them his hands and his side. The disciples were filled with joy when they saw the Lord. And he said to them again, Peace be with you. As the Father sent me, so am I sending you. After saying this, he breathed on them and said, Receive the Holy Spirit. For those whose sins you forgive, they are forgiven. For those whose sins you retain, they are retained. Thomas, called a twin, who was one of the twelve, was not with them when Jesus came. When a disciple said, We have seen the Lord, he answered, Unless I see the holes that the nails made in his hands, and can put my finger into the holes they made, and unless I can put my hand into his side, I refuse to believe. Eight days later, the disciples were in the house again, and Thomas was with them. The doors were closed, but Jesus came in and stood among them. Peace be with you, he said. Then he spoke to Thomas, put your finger here, look here are my hands. Give me your hand. Put it into my side. Doubt no longer, but believe. Thomas replied, My Lord and my God. Jesus said to him, You believe because you can see. Happy are those who have not seen and yet believe. There were many other signs that Jesus worked and a disciple saw. But they are not recorded in this book. These are recorded 
so that you may believe that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God, and that believing these, you may have life through his name. The Gospel of the Lord. Perhaps this morning or over the weekend you have been thinking of something and you know you are struggling, really struggling. Or someone who is dear to you has been struggling. And it looks that the situation is one that seems insurmountable. And for some it could just be about the future. Maybe it's about our job. Uh, maybe the job is so stressful. And we really don't look forward to going to work every day. Or maybe it's just about the future of the job. Things happen to be uncertain. And we're not sure. Maybe it's about a decision we made in the past. The consequence of which we have to now live with. And we're thinking maybe I should have done something differently. Was it the right decision to take? One that is so important that is affecting our lives and the lives of those we really love. Maybe it's just the stress of every day. Maybe it's about a loved one who has departed us and is very, very hard to bear. Whatever it is, today's message from the Word of God is... The Lord Jesus says, I am on my way. Peace be with you. When you think of the disciples, they were struggling. It was hard. It was hard because as we will read in the gospel according to St. Luke, two disciples on their way to Emmaus, one of them said, we had hoped, we, we had hoped that he would be the one to set Israel free. So they had hope in Jesus. But he was no more. How could he allow himself to be so cheaply executed? How? That was their hope. And so they were struggling. The last time they were with him was on Monday, Thursday, before the Passover. Friday, he was gone. Saturday, he wasn't there. Sunday evening. Normally on the first day of the week, he would be out with them preaching the word. But he was no more. It was tough for them. And they were so afraid. So afraid. Now fear is such a powerful emotion in our lives. Fear can paralyze us. They were so afraid they could not move out. They were afraid. They shut the door. They were afraid. Afraid for themselves. Of course, uh, there is an African proverb that says that if 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 fire can consume the tortoise with the iron coat, what will happen to the fowl with the feathered gun? So if Jesus, their master, could be so cheaply killed, what will happen to them? They were afraid. And the fear was compounded not just about the Jews, but also about a sense of grief. A sense of grief. Peter would have asked himself, why did I deny the Lord? The sense of guilt in the life of Peter. Guilt. Maybe I should have stood my ground. Maybe I should have said, testified that I knew him. And we feel that way. Guilt about things that have happened. Things we cannot change. Maybe if I had done this, that would not have happened. So Peter was struggling. He was indeed struggling. Or Thomas, you think he was just doubtful? That that was a doubt that comes with grief with disappointment, with a profound sense of despair, I refuse to believe. How could he just leave us? Where do we begin from? This man had given up everything to follow Jesus. Now they had no future. They were struggling. We do struggle. We are human. We will struggle from time to time. And sometimes it's hard. We don't feel like getting out of the house. They didn't feel like going out. 
We don't feel like getting out of bed in the morning because we look into the future, it is gloomy. In the past, there is a sense of guilt and the present just seems insurmountable. It's foggy, it is misty. They were struggling. We struggle. But what is amazing is the Lord knew it was evening. The evening of the first day of the week. He would not allow their grief to go on. As though he was saying, just hang on there. I am on my way. I am alive. He wasn't there anymore. They could not move on. Sometimes we feel trapped somewhere. How do we move on to the future? And some it is the burden of debt. How do we care for our family? We've made a huge sacrifice to move from one job to another or from one place to the other. And it seems to us we can't move forward. It is hard. It is tough. They felt that way. They could not just move forward anymore. And the Lord knew that hope Hope was no more. He just said, I am alive. I am alive. Don't worry. I am alive. His presence filled them with joy. It is the power of God's message to us today. That whatever it is that we are struggling with at this time, remain with the community, the community of faith. They remain there. Hang on to the gift of faith that you have received. We're told in the second reading, we can overcome on account of our faith. Faith is so powerful. The Lord will not allow them to spend the ninth of the first day of the week, a new beginning without him. So he came. Even when the door was shut, in the midst of fear, Fear can taint our peace. He just said, don't give up. I am here. I am alive. And peace be with you. So you can't give up. Having come this far in a journey of faith, no matter what it is, you cannot give up. Because the Lord is saying, I am alive. Why worry? And those we care for, who have gone before us, they are at peace. They are alive. It is only the Lord who can give us the peace that the world cannot give us. Three times he said, Shalom, peace be with you. Wonderful. That is so transforming. No matter what it is we struggle with, when the Lord says, peace be with you, indeed, there will be peace. No situation is insurmountable in the presence of the Lord. Even when the door is shut to us, the Lord knows how to come in. He doesn't need anyone to open the door for him. He just came in and stood among them. You are struggling, you are troubled, but peace be with you. And to give them life, he breathed on them. The Lord will breathe on us to give us life where it seems we are morbid. Is the one. He's risen. He's alive. Let us ask him to give us peace. And for our loved ones who are struggling. Let's bring them to the Lord in this Eucharist. Say, Lord, give them peace. And for our loved ones who have gone before us. Who are departed. Let us know they are at peace. They are alive with the Lord. Peace be with you. Amen. Let us rise and profess our faith in God. I believe in God, the Father of mine, creator of heaven and earth. Jesus Christ is holy Son of God, who was conceived and born of the Lord. Was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended to hell. Seated at the right hand of the Father, 
to make it. And then we will come to God's living and day. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord give us the forgiveness of sins, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. The first Christian community in Jerusalem were united in heart and soul as the apostles testified to Christ's resurrection. <coughs> With faith in the risen Lord, we now pray that we may live in the same spirit. We pray that Pope Francis may receive the gift of improved health so that he may preside over the church in charity and with wisdom be a voice for all who suffer. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. We pray that our parish community may reflect the life of the first Christians of Jerusalem, being united in heart and soul, share generously with those in need, and give witness to the resurrection of Jesus. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. We pray that those who are suffering physical, emotionally, or spiritually may find healing and comfort in God's presence and mercy. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. In thanksgiving to the Lord, we pray for parishioners who mark their birthdays this week. Geraldine Fane. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. We pray for our sick and housebound parishioners who are listed in our newsletter. We pray especially for those who have asked for our prayers at this time in their lives. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. We pray for our departed loved ones and for all the faithful departed that the Lord will grant them eternal rest and reward. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. To Mary, our mother, who intercedes for us, we pray together. Hail, Hail Mary, Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. And blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in this and our Father. In a moment of silence, we offer our own prayers and petitions. Father, with St. Thomas, we claim Jesus as our Lord and God, giving thanks for every blessing given to us through him, who lives and reigns forever and ever.
that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Accept, O Lord, we pray, the oblations of your people, that renewed by confession of your name and by baptism, they may attain on head in happiness through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But on this day above all, to Lord you yet more gloriously, when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For he is the true Lamb, who has taken away the sins of the world. By dying he has destroyed our death. And by rising, restored our life. Therefore, overcome with Paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise. And even the heavenly parts with the angelic host sing together the honored hymn of your glory. As they acclaim. Holy is the Lord, holy adore of might, holy is the Lord, the God of might, holy is the Lord, holy is the Lord. We Indeed, holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, for that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord 
Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and gave it thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more gave it thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup. <clears throat> Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation. Give you thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring it to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Mark our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, his spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At a serious command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. 
Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. And graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will. Who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. With hope in the restoration, let us offer each other a sign of peace. Peace be with you.
Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that our reception of this Paschal Sacrament may have a continued effect in our minds and heart through Christ our Lord. Amen. Once again, I want to thank you all. Thank you all for being here this morning. And I also want to thank our wonderful uh, African singers. Thank you. That was a beautiful rendition. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. So grateful you're here. Thank you. Thank you. And for all our friends and visitors, you're welcome. We say it here that Mumbles is the best place to be, right? Yeah. The parishioners know that. So please join us after Mass for tea, coffee, and biscuits in the parish room uh, next door. We have a birthday blessing. Geraldine, please come forward for your birthday blessing. You know, you're a wonderful person. You know why? Because each time you see me, you know what you do. You smile. You tell me how wonderful... I have been since I came here, and then you give me a hug. Wow. So when you've had a bad day, just go see Geraldine. You're wonderful. Thank you for all the wonderful things you say to me when you see me. Always very, very grateful. I smile, and I love that. I appreciate it all. Thank you, Geraldine. Thank you. Yes. Terry, she's wonderful. Very good. God of all creation, we offer you grateful praise for the gift of life. Hear the prayers of Geraldine, your servant, who recalls the day of her birth and rejoices in your gifts of life and love, family and friends. Bless her, Lord, with your presence. And surround her with your love that she may enjoy many happy years, all of them pleasing to you. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Happy birthday to you, happy birthday to you, happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday to you. Yeah, what a wonderful birthday with all this singing. Yeah! Thank you. Thank you. Thank you all. And I wish you a wonderful weekend. Thank you. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is celebrated. Alleluia, alleluia.
etamande me munatengwo e etamande me munakongwo etamande e munakengwe 